On this video, I'm going to talk to you about installing our new mattress and things that you need to think about when you're putting in a memory foam mattress in your camper. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our, this adventure. is our adventures. Okay, we had a queen size mattress here and we're gonna put the king size in here, which it's a shorter, well, it's the same length, it's a narrower king. I have the hardest time finding the right size mattress. This one is 70 wide and I think like a regular mattress was like 74 wide. So it needed to be 70 inches. And that limited the types and kinds of mattresses that I could do. It just ended up, it was, I mean, like I was looking at a thousand dollars for a mattress and I just didn't know that I wanted to pay for that. I know that we could take other mattresses and cut them down. I just didn't want to cut one down. I wanted it to be the size that I needed for my camper. I opened up the blind, the lighting would be better. So I, I wanted to have the right size mattress. So I opted to go with a cheaper mattress I thought, you know what? We slept for three years on the one that came in here with just a foam topper on top. We can do that again. There's no reason to buy another nice mattress and we slept good. I mean, we're not mattress snobs, obviously, I guess, because we can sleep on the mattress that comes with a camper. So I just ended up going with like a cheaper, a $400 mattress. And then I got like a big thick mattress pad off of Amazon that I had gotten for our other one and I paid like $60 for it. So I'm probably all in around $500 instead of $1,000. I was just trying to do it as cheap as I could. I ended up getting the RV mattress and I got the Brooklyn Wanderlust, the memory foam one. That way, and it was an, called an RV King, which was 70 by 80. It took a little time to come in. I said because of COVID, everything's delayed because of COVID. So what I need to do is I need to make this base bigger. And I personally don't want to have to unscrew all these hinges and then take this plywood out and put new plywood in. Okay, so I was sitting here editing this video and something that I was gonna tell you in the last video, I decided to go ahead and talk about it in this video because I think it's very important because I did the plywood, and I don't know if it's the plywood that caused it or if it was because the mattress was so much heavier, the jacks under the bed, I couldn't keep that up. Like, they won't, they won't stay up. It's, it's like where before you would open it up and it would hold up, it does not hold up anymore. It falls back down, so I just got in a stick that I'm sticking under it, but Anyway, I just wanted to tell you because I put that plywood on there and maybe because of the mattress, the shocks that are under the bed, that's all too heavy for it now. So, all right, back to the video. So I just had two pieces of plywood cut that I'm gonna lay on top of this and leave where the hinges are out of it because after I do that, I've gotta put an air ventilation up under your mattress because a memory foam mattress can get mold under it. I'm going to show you what options I went with when I'm coming to doing the ventilation up underneath it because that can get pricey too. All right, got to go get my plywood, bring it in here and get it screwed down. All right, I'm going to get some screws and just screw this down and then we'll go get the other piece and screw it down. Making sure I don't put no screws that'll go through the bottom. Which it doesn't matter on that one, but on this one I don't want the screws sticking through to hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> 
if that piece is done, let me go get the other piece. Maybe that won't flop up before I get back. All right, I'm gonna screw this one down. for the new mattress so that way I didn't have to pull this up I think this is gonna work just fine plywood is expensive it was like 70 something dollars for these two sheets of plywood cut down oh <sighs> lumber and stuff has just got crazy all right let me go grab what I opted to do for my vapor barrier I ordered these off of Amazon and they're rubber mats they're for like a shower or different things and they're interlocking. And I researched a lot of different ways to do this. And this is the one that I found that I wanted to do. It was like $60, I think, for these, where some of the other stuff was two and $300. So I'm gonna lay these down all over this and then I'm gonna go get the mattress and how these work is they link together it's got like a little let's see if I can show this to you on this better so these here they just have little things and then you can just snap them together so that just pops them together and links them together all right, I'm gonna do the whole thing and then we will go get the mattress. <laughs> All right, I'm a little crazy, so I'm not gonna get to finish this today. I swear I thought I ordered two of these, which they're 30 something dollars and it was $60. But obviously, I was a little crazy and I only hit one, and so I only have one packet of them. So, I had to order another one and they're coming in a couple of days. So we're gonna lay these out all over. I've got another nine of these coming, so I'll have them laid out here. But you wanna have some kind of airflow under your mattress. I even had thought about but it would be a lot of work. Taking this plywood and if I had just drilled holes in it, it could have maybe gone as an airflow. I don't know. Like There was so many things when I started researching that you could do, but this was the most inexpensive way I felt that I could find, and um, this is what I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to put what I have here together, and then I'm going to go get the mattress, and then when those come in on Friday, I'll finish those up underneath. All right, let me finish putting these down. I'll go ahead and tell you, I wouldn't want these in the shower. These would hurt my feet. All right, I just spreaded these out like this and then I'll finish this side with the other ones that I've got coming. I can just pull the mattress up and put them down. But I wanna go ahead and get the mattress on here so that it can start expanding because it's in like a box and it's a little small and we only want to open that baby up in here. We don't want to open it up before we bring it in this bedroom. All right, let me go get it.
my workout. Woo. Starting to expand. Feels good. <laughs> Might should have got Bill to help me with this, huh? sure that I want to put the mattress topper on this one. It feels pretty good without having a mattress topper on it. Well, all right. Well, that's this one about this RV mattress. Like I said, I researched a ton of RV mattresses, and this is the one that I ended up going with. I don't think that it's probably just looking at it. I'd say it's okay quality. I don't think that it's like great because it's already got strings coming apart on it but it feels pretty good I'm gonna let it fully rise over the next few days and then let Bill put in his lights which you have seen in the last video and then I think I'm gonna finish decorating in here because that's gonna be my next video the last one is it all finished put together and what I decide to do with shelves and all that well I hope you enjoyed this video uh like I said when it came to the mattresses, I researched this so much. It was like crazy. I just didn't want to spend $1,000 on a mattress. So this is my option. And like I said, I have a memory foam mattress topper that goes on top of it that I have to cut to the right size. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to use it. And then I've got the couple of other of those things to put up under here when they come in I'll finish putting those under to keep the air because you got to make sure that you have air up underneath the mattress so you don't have mold on it because that is a real thing we've never our other mattress never got any on it but I see a lot of people having problems with it. welcome to all our new subscribers till next time like and subscribe